Well, here we are in a typical espresso coffee bar. And in this rather synthetically exotic decor, the teenagers relax after the day's work. So these young students. Am I on yet? You just finished. Oh, no, I missed it. Missed my first film. How do I look? You came over wonderful, Bongo. Oh, no kidding. Hey, why well, wasn't Johnny here to see me? What kind of a manager is he anyway? For you, good. Probably holding Maya down to a hot television set. Perhaps I'll come on again, huh? Well, I don't know about you, but that left me absolutely breathless just watching it again. Now, what is the answer to this astonishing phenomenon of our time? With us in the studio tonight, we have a distinguished panel of experts to discuss. The Reverend Tobias Craven. Good evening. And, of course, the Harley Street psychiatrist. Good evening. And last, but certainly not least, a man who has been responsible for much of what we are here to discuss, Mr. Johnny Jackson, the well-known artist manager. Hiya, Cat. How the hell did he get on there? Oh, that Johnny. He's a really deep character. Now, Doctor, would you say this was just a healthy sign of high spirits? No, it's not as simple as that. Adolescents in our time demand outlets for their frustrations. See, you're frustrated, Bongo. You need some bent. Seek elsewhere. The drums Bongo beats may stand for someone he doesn't like. Or they may be a simple means of evacuating tension. What's all that about? Bent. Huh? That the whole mass of whirling conflict surge up to a pounding climax. Afterwards, in its relaxation of tension, and the face is almost beautiful. Hear that? You're almost beautiful, Bongo. Do me a favor, uh, Mr. Craven. Well, speaking personally, I welcome the whole phenomenon. After all, many popular songs do have a touch of religion. Uh, speaking for course, myself. Many others are frankly paid. Uh, speaking for we myself. We have to reach I... the people at their own level. Mr. Jackson? Uh, still speaking for myself, I would definitely say that the Rev is onto something there. This boy, Bongo Herbert, we must all bear in mind, is a real symbol of modern youth. And this number which we heard him sing, Voice in the Wilderness, will, we believe, introduce a new era in the hit parade. Oh, the psychiatrist. Yes, Doctor. Because get this, kid, the disc of Voice in the Wilderness will be on sale in your local record shop any minute now. Thank you, Mr. Jackson. There you have the conclusion. There is, of course, something in what Mr. Jackson says. I started a jive club at our youth center some time ago. Later, we converted it into skiffle. Now I think it's not impossible that I start a bongo club in my crypt. Oh, good for you, Rev. A big hand for the Rev, kids. You just heard the attitude of a really great modern churchman, if I may say so. Just because we want a few kids as well is no reason we should be unreligious. Oh, thank you, Mr. Jackson. Uh, there you have the... And talking about religion, kids, of... I don't want you to regard Bongo as a substitute, even though his latest Garrick recording, A Voice in the Wilderness, is the greatest you ever heard. I am speaking on behalf of both me Mr. and Bongo Jackson. when I say, go to church this Sunday. Me and Bongo often go together to the same little local church where Bongo was christened 18 years ago. How can he say those things? How can he lie so well? His mum and his little sister and his dad who have made so many sacrifices for him. Bongo gives thanks for all you wonderful people who have made his career possible. <laughs>